So today we have here in GMIT seven teams representing four schools at Calisanctius College in Oran Moor, Garm School we're in Athen Rye, St Enda's in Galway and the Mercy Convent in Galway. Each of those teams is supported by a GMIT mentor. Some of our students doing civic engagement are helping the teams. We also have a, each team has an industry mentor from our three support companies, HP, Avaya and Schneider Electric. Well, since October, teams of secondary school students have been working together with their industry mentors to build a CANSAT, which is a satellite in, in a can. It includes all the uh, software, hardware and technology that will be in a, a, a typical uh, satellite. Uh, they have to program sensors, they have to do uh, software engineering and they have to do electronics and mechanical engineering. They also design a parachute to help their can to, to uh, return to Earth safely. And all this is done uh, typically during a transition year and it's a combination of working during class time and also on their own time. Each school sets up a project team and there are many different roles on the team. Some people are working on the, uh, the social media aspect, the publicity of, the, of their team. Other, other members are working on the technology, be it writing software programs or developing the hardware and the sensors that they're going to put into their can to give them that little edge in the competition uh, by adding a, an, extra, an extra layer of technology. All of the teams start off with a primary mission where they're given uh, some basic sensors to, uh, to measure temperature and pressure and they'll collect that data from the can while it's in the air. It'll be relayed to a laptop, a receiver laptop. They'll then analyze the data and present the data. Um, then each school gets a chance or each team gets a chance to develop a secondary mission where they can, they can uh, differentiate themselves and add an extra level of technology in there. For example, they might put in a GPS chip, they might put in a camera, or even, even something like a Geiger counter. So our cans were launched by a, from a hexacopter designed by one of our students, Sean Keane. And uh, Sean's an electronic engineering student here, and he has he's put together the, the hexacopter, which can uh, use GPS to control its position. It can take off and land back to, to the exact location from which it took off. It has um, variable uh, speed motors, which can adjust depending on wind speed. And um, he's also hooked up a servo to allow us to drop the parachutes. So all of the teachers in the schools and the pupils have told us how much they've got out of the CANSAT project. They've, they've interacted with an industry mentor, an engineer working in industry, also with a civic engagement student from GMIT to learn on the one hand new technology skills, but also to learn about how things are done in industry, uh, how to approach problem solving. And they've got a great, a great kick out of the, the teamwork that goes along with it and the sharing out of the roles, working together, working to deadlines and working to overcome tricky, tricky technical and other, other types of problems. So teams will first compete within the Western region and then we'll be sending two teams forward to the, to the Irish final, which this year takes place in Burr. And the winners of the Irish competition go forward to take part in the European competition, uh, which typically happens at the Air Force Base or a military base where they launch their cansets from real rockets. And that's, that's a, an excellent learning opportunity again for the students to get to travel abroad, meet students from other countries and uh, compete with their rockets. And in the past, Irish teams have done very well, in fact winning their grade of competition last year.